let's just touch on, um, say you're making a video or a small film, and it's not a, we'll come to a big feature film just in a second, but if you're making a, a promo or short piece and you want to pay people, what about national insurance contributions? Can you just talk about that? If you're a production company or a limited company, there's only, say, two, two or three partners, but you're going to make something, say, a short film or something. You're yeah. going to employ technicians. Right. Um, if you're a limited company, or even if you're a sole trader and employing people, you're treated as an employer and you have the same obligations in its in the simplest rule is you're imply you're required to deduct PAYE from any employ employees even if in they're the, sole in, traders yeah in the film industry though there's this nonsense not nonsensical rather large list of accepted grades within within the film industry which is updated every year by the film industry unit in Newcastle where they still are i think um and if someone is on an accepted grade, and it's a, there are various conditions associated with these grades, because what they're trying to do is, every, they, the government would like everyone to be employed. Mm. The reason on being, PAYE. on PAYE, PAYE you know, self-employed under PAYE. That's what they would like, ideally, because they get their tax straight away. The employer has to pay the national insurance, or the, or, you know, the employer's national insurance contributions and everything like that. So um, if you were to employ someone, and they can demonstrate to you that they're freelance, then the 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 default position is that the the PAY office would like you to phone up them and say I'm paying this person as a technician um, freelance is it okay now invariably they're going to say can we have more information please please is he actually self-employed is he providing his own equipment all the normal sort mm -hmm. of tests of self-employment which are a whole subject of a separate lecture to be honest but um, if someone is, can demonstrate that they're self-employed, then you as a company are, can pay them on that basis. You can run the risk, and I've had this with a client of mine, a big production, production company, where they were paying people as um, locations, managers, producers, uh, boom operators, you know, people like those mm. in those sort of categories within the, within the film industry, where they are on the accepted grade list, but they didn't meet the extra conditions, like provision of equipment, um, and that sort of that sort of idea. There was a big tax case years ago of the vision mixer Ian Lorimer, called Hall v Lorimer. It was a very famous tax case where it was held that it wasn't reasonable for this vision mixer to provide his own equipment on. He was an outside broadcast yeah, it was guy, a huge, you know, uh, millions, of millions. Yeah, yeah, just because he didn't provide his equipment didn't. didn't mean he wasn't self-employed. So, you know, that's a big case. Whenever we whenever we argue the case with the revenue, we say, you know state this tax case to as as sort of backup information and defence for, for so our So mostly it's good for producers to bear that in mind when they're hiring people that you're talking to people say are you freelance you know do you have your own kit or whatever if you're doing certain things and yeah. actors whatever are you a sole trader etc and yeah. you usually will be able to pay them without pay, getting them on PAYE. Yes. Actors, I'm afraid, are slight, in a slightly different category because although they're treated as self-employed for income tax purposes, they're treated as employed for national insurance purposes. So that means you might have to deduct, not deduct tax from them, but do deduct national insurance. So the employer production company pays yes. their national insurance? Yes. Deducts it and pays it as well as the privilege of employing them. Okay. Okay. So it's another little anomaly within the, within the business.